Today we're going to reproduce one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people do when they build their computer and that's to forget to remove this little sticker that can actually make a huge difference to the temperatures of your processor and obviously the cooler. On top of that it can affect your system quite dramatically. All testing is done in a soundproof and climate controlled room at 21.5 degrees Celsius. All testing is done on the same components or machine as well as run three times to get an average. The first thing we notice is the actual fan noises of the cooler being a lot higher than standard especially when loading programs or even just starting windows because of the temperatures are so high the fans are having to run so fast. But believe it or not, at idle temperatures, there's only about a 3 degree difference at 23 degrees and 26 degrees. In the first test we did was basically to see how long it took for it to thermal throttle. The answer to that is 7 seconds. That basically means after 7 seconds, the CPU has to slow itself down so it doesn't overheat. While the machine didn't crash, Obviously, it did slow it down quite dramatically, slowing the processor down to 750 megahertz at its lowest. Next, we decided to test it using 3D Mark using the Speedway test. And actually, we didn't find much of a difference here because it's mainly a graphics card testing suite. So if your game or application you're using uses the graphics card more so than the processor, you probably won't have an issue. But when loading the programs up, we did find the actual fans did kick in a lot higher than they would normally and were very audible. In this next test, we tested Cyberpunk and again, results were very similar to 3D Mark. With only a three frames per second difference, it was really unnotable and to be honest, you wouldn't have noticed if it wasn't for that excessive noise from the cooler. Next, we tested Warhammer Total War and we did actually find a 9 frames per second difference there so there is a big difference but we also noticed that there was a lot of stuttering as well in there while a lot of the speeds were very similar but at certain points it would stutter where the CPU was struggling to keep up and was having to slow itself down and then speed back up again because it was getting too hot Next, we tested it on the new City Skylines 2, which is a pretty buggy anyway and gives you not the best frames per second, but there was a huge difference on this because the game uses your CPU like hell. And on this, without the plastic, we got 31 frames per second, but as soon as you had that plastic on there, you were getting only 6 frames per second. So that was a huge difference and obviously the game was unplayable. We also did some testing on Premiere Pro and we also fired up Cinebench as well. Unfortunately, both of those failed on all the testing, obviously due to the overheating processor. So in conclusion, it really depends on the processor you're using and how much difference you'll actually notice. But having a piece of plastic between your CPU and your actual cooler is not a good idea. While you might get away playing some games and stuff like that where you won't notice much of a difference, one thing what's going to happen is going to cause that CPU to get really hot for long periods of time, which is not really a good thing, and there's a high chance that CPU is going to fail. If you enjoyed this video and know I did, why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here, or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.